Hey, where's this cat we keep hearing about? Why are you digging holes by hand? Why is the bump not finished the back in the machine? I'm doing my best. Okay, we're nearly there. Um, I've taken out the flywheel bolts on the inside, so, um, or sorry, the bell housing bolts. Just need to start to manhandle her in. Line these two bits of steel now, and uh, weld the connector up hopefully in a second. Let's see if I lose our gloves when you're maneuvering something heavy. So, it's all the weight off the loader and just going to get the straps and things out of the way now. And uh, see, can I start to line it up uh, with the bell housing? It's going to have to come up a bit and things, but we'll figure that as we go. Okay, so um, I've slung the pump just for the piece of rope out through the engine compartment. I just couldn't get um, purchase underneath it just to lift it up an inch or two to um, marry up with the fly wheel and just keeping this black timber under the back of it. Um, there she is right to the loader. I have to be very careful doing this to make sure that I don't damage the, um, the insert in the fly wheel that the pump marries up with. Just, uh, making sure that the, as in lifting it's not pulling the pump against the back of the engine uh, when that thing isn't lined up so uh, I'm going to just level out the back of the pump a bit now I'm going to go top side then see can I rotate the pump to line up with the insert and we'll give her another little lift and see can we pull her in I was wedging the block in um, underneath the back of it and what you know it just um, slid into position so uh, just need to rotate it slightly now to get the um, bolt holes to line up, but it seems to have slotted in there and it's engaged to the engine. The line, we're engaged with the engine. So, now. Oh. Get these in, get them tightened down, and it'll be time to get the hoses connected up. It's time to remember um, how this thing goes together. A lot of hoses to fit. Um, can't fit all of them immediately because I want to um, flush out the tank. So I'm just going to connect some of the outgoing ways so that I've got those put away. And we come back afterwards and um, clean the tank and put the other lines. Okay, so I've spotted a small boo boo. Um, I noticed that this wasn't lining up with the hoses. Um, turns out I have 
put the back of this pump and the front, I think possibly the front section on incorrectly so let's remove it um, simple enough job just unbolt it in there and swap it around put it back together oh man the wind out there tonight would cut through you uh, back in the workshop with our pump let's move this battery on right there So, just gonna make the necessary changes to this one. Get a radio refit tomorrow. Okay, so, it says to say front is correct, but I need to turn the whole thing around. Sit there. I can go in there. I can go in here. Slide on the back. So let's push those through a little bit. Work that through. And this back in here. And this back on here. think it should be that okay um, so it's not in the correct orientation uh, just wrap her up and put her with all the stuff for tomorrow morning we get her down there and get her on Ooh. Looks like I'm walking this morning. Let's see if this thing is going to start this morning. That's everything in here put away so all the um, bell housing bolts obviously it's got all the oil lines reconnected it's got um, cables to this electric pump reconnected and thing I'm missing is um, just one bolt off that um, pipe clamp in there so I was have a route in the workshop see if it's around there um, I think everything else is um, there thereabouts just gonna check that these little plugs are tight because I know we had some of those out but um, other than that she's ready for oil um, let's go around the back we've uh, reconnected the blade so that's ready to go so um, basically now what I'm going to do is go top side and um, get the filters into her so I've come up to um, fit the filters and I just noticed something very annoying and um, financial problem. Somebody's taking the diesel cap off this thing. Don't know how long it's been exposed. Um, so I'm going to have to drain the fuel tank again before I can fire it up. Anywho, get on and get these filters in. So, um, clean the tank as best I can. I um, think I've got most of the stuff out of there. The filters are just going to have to deal with the rest of it. So, um, Steam clean the filter housing, so I'll drop in like so. Uh, 
and drop our filters in. Okay, so we've got our um, bar of oil position up in the um, back of the machine. So I'm just going to grab the bar of pump now and start pumping some hydraulic oil into this baby. Um, then we'll drain that fuel tank again and fill it with diesel. Okay, so that's our um, improvised induction system, a Volvo half cat. Okay, so moment of truth, we got batteries. Fire extinguishers. Everything here should be ready to go, so um, I was going to take a chance and crank it over, see what happens. Wish me luck. Cat, do you think we're ever going to get this cat up and running? What do you think, Piggy? Think we'll ever get it moving? Okay, thanks for watching the video. Uh, that's it for now, and that's it for 2020. Thanks to those of you who've subscribed up to now, anybody who's left a comment, and everybody who's hit the like button. Uh, make sure you like this video if you like it, and feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Uh, so can't really do any more. Sorry, I couldn't get it running today. Just didn't have enough power in the batteries I had. Uh, gonna have to go out in a few days when everything reopens and buy some new batteries. And we'll have another, another go at it. I'll bring you a video on that soon. In the meanwhile, I might try and do some other um, Will It Start videos. Just using some of the stuff I have around the workshop in the next few days. So stay tuned. Try and bring you another video shortly. Now finally, Happy New Year. And here's to a far better 2021 than 2020. Take care.